Welcome back. Now we'll be talking about the Agotime uh, Kente Festival. It is happening and we have Elvis uh, Ativo. He is a festival coordinator and he's joined us. Looking lovely in his Kente, by the way. Thank what do you, you call what you're wearing? This is called Titriku. Titriku. Yes, Titriku is one of the very old traditional cloths mm. that we have. Uh, it was named after one of our great warriors right. called Titri. Mm. And so when Titri died, uh, the, the master weavers designed this cloth mm. in his honor. And this cloth is only worn by uh, the royal hood. Uh, ordinary people cannot wear it. I'm wearing it because I'm part of the royal hood. You are. Of the Agotime tradition. Mm, mm. And you have these things on, on the table. Um, let, let's get into that before we get into the festival proper. What is this called? This is like a catapult? Or, or what's yes, it? Uh, this is one of the weapons that we use mm. uh, in the village those days. Right. If you want to go hunting mm. without a gun, this will do for you. Mm. And it's an integral part of our regalia. Okay. Whenever we go to war, sometimes you don't need a bullet to kill an enemy. Just you a little. Just use it. Oh, and wow. we are good to go. Yeah. Yes. How about this? <laughs> Tell us about this. This this <laughs> one is one of our traditional cloths mm. called um, agutemakpa. Okay. Agutemakpa simply means that if you are not careful, you have a stranger in your home. Mm. That stranger has the potential okay. to take over your entire kingdom. Right. Because they come in various forms and, and so, colors. And colors. Mm. So this cloth was designed purposely to depict how dangerous uh, an enemy can be, can be in your household. How about that? Can you let's let's raise it up and, and, and see that? This one, it's one of our royal regalia. Mm. This was uh, it's about two hundred years old. Is it? Every year we do repairs on it. Mm. It's first worn by one of our great warlords. Nene Akoto Santi first right. wore this one mm. during war. Mm. And so it is medicinal. If you wear this, it is like bulletproof. Right. Uh, no, no bullet can penetrate through it. No bullet? No bullet. It's not possible. Oh. It's not possible. It's not possible. Uh, how come? What's on it or in it? Oh, it's, it's, it's because it's been um, put in a lot of traditional uh, herbs, first mm. and foremost. Mm. Mm. And because it belongs to our Intrifua or the ancestors to right. uh, the gods of our time mm. and of the land, uh, resides in it. So it's a kind of protection for whoever wears it. Let's talk about the Agotime uh, Kinti Festival. Tell us a bit about it. The, the Agotime Kinti Festival is a beautiful traditional festival. Right. We all know that the only thing or one of the best things we identify Ghana with mm. is Kinti fabric, like what I'm wearing. Absolutely. Very and uh, two main communities in Ghana, Bonre and Betwe, uh, are master producers of the fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, as part of our heritage as people in Agotime, we decided in 1995 that we want to honor this uh, our heritage. Mm. And so we came together as a people, young and old, and we thought that it would be a very good thing for us to honor uh, the fabric. So we did. So since 1995, we, the chiefs and people of Agotime, have been celebrating uh, the Kente as part of our heritage. So every year, we come together and we celebrate it. Uh, it's a cultural festival in the sense that it does not only show the fabric, mm. but how we use the fabric throughout our um, rights or puberty rights, for example. Right. Specific uh, kente cloths is designed for it. Mm. Uh, Widowhood right, we have specific cloths. When we are mourning, we, like this one, is designed for titriku as mm. part of the, the regalia. So throughout our passage throughout life, uh, in Agotime, we have specific kente cloths that depict each of these culture and traditions of our people. Let's talk about the red handband uh, that you have on your wrist. What does it mean? Um, or what does it signify? In, in Agotime, for example, today, when you go to the entire Agotime state today, you would see us cladded in the kind of fabric I am in. Right. Um, throughout our history, we fought a number of wars, mm. and great forebears of ours have died in battle. Okay. And so we remember them to... Uh, signs like this. Mm. It shows that we are mourning, our eyes are red, and so today, for example, when we converge in Vakbo, one of our communities, mm -hmm. all the chiefs and people of Agotime will be cladded 
in red and black, red and black. simply to honor our forebears. You know, it is said that the nation that does not honor its heroes is not worth dying for. And so in Agotime, we revere the memory of our forebears, particularly the great men and women who have sacrificed their lives for securing the territory in which mm. we are, mm. and also for leading very key wars that we have fought as a people in securing our space. And so traditionally, we honor them. We do what we call firing of musketry, just like a 21 gun salute. When great men of the army passed on, the army recognizes their contribution to society. Mm. So in Agotime, we do the same. We gather, we sing dirges, uh, we, we mourn mournfully, mm. and we, we, we beat drums and we dance to it to show our heroism. For example, when our forebears were returning from war, they came in palanquins, mm. for example. Mm. And so we demonstrate that to teach the younger generation of what has happened in the past and also to remind them to secure the peace in the traditional area. Now, talking about the younger generation, uh, who are some of the people that can attend the festival and what are some of the kinti types that you see and their meanings you know some people just want to come there and enjoy the scenery what are they to expect everyone is expected to come mm. the entire ghana is, is, is welcome young and old right. we do series of activities that takes care of the interests of all the class of people uh, in in our generation for example uh, on wednesday we did uh, a quiz and debate competition for the, the young people right. to see how they can speak in public, to show their intelligence. And so the young one, ones are catered for. Uh, we also did what we call Women and Children Mini Deba. Mm. Uh, possibly is the only festival in the entirety of Ghana that focuses mainly on women and children. With this, this event at Batume, what we do is to show how, from the feminine perspective, the clothes that we have or designed over the years right. are used in their traditional context. Mm. For example, if you are you have a twin, if you are lucky to have a twin, right. in Agotime you are deemed special. Mm. Uh, you are deemed to have some spiritual values. Mm -hmm. And so we design clothes to honor you and only you as a mother of twins in Agotime can wear specific clothes. clothes. You understand what mm. I mean? Mm. So we remind mm. the new generation and also teach them how women use cloth as part of their regalia right. throughout the passage of life. Then, uh, for example, yesterday, uh, we gathered again in our ancestral home called Apegame. Uh, our forefathers landed across the Toje River in little canoes. Mm. And so, again, we play back those memories of how our forebears landed right in Apegame. Right. So we demonstrated that event yesterday. And then again, we did what we call the weaving competition. Mm -hmm. You know, every industry grows and creativity abounds in the minds and in the heart of the master weaver. So we create the opportunity for them every year to showcase their new creativity and ingenuity. So yesterday, it was a very beautiful contest. Master weavers were there and new designs have evolved. So, so in wrapping up, tell us when exactly it is happening, the festival proper and why nobody should miss it the the climax of the festival which we call the grand deba will take place tomorrow tomorrow uh, in agotima petwe in the volta region uh petwe is just about three hours of maximum drive from accra mm. uh, if you go to the volta region regional capital hall and you ask of petwe it's just 15 minutes drive to petwe so the grand deba of the chiefs and people under the auspices of the corner of Agotime will take place at Petway, where all the towns and villages, 37 towns and villages of Agotime will converge mm. and celebrate our culture and tradition. The guest of honor for tomorrow's Grand Eba will be Madame Rukia Yakub, the World Food Country Ghana representative right. and country director. Right. She will be our guest of mm. honor among dignitaries uh, across the country and from other neighboring countries uh, all over the world. And tourists from the United States will be in. We shouldn't miss tomorrow's Grand Deba because it's the 24th edition. Mm. And for the very first time, some of our historical clots 
which we have never showcased, which are, are in the loom of uh, the Nene Nwe Ketiku Dikert will be unveiled, displayed, displayed mm. for the first mm. time. Mm. And some of our cultures which we have never showcased, for example, the Mamanu dance, right. uh, the Hakka dance, which we never played anywhere, will be revived we'll be in Agotime. We'll so on behalf of Nene Nwe Ketiku Dikert and the chiefs and people of Agotime, mm. I wish to invite all Ghanaians, uh, come tomorrow, first thing in the morning, all roads must lead to Agotima Petway in the Volta region, where we celebrate the only or the most important thing which Ghana is noted for, that Kinti. is Kinti. Kinti. It's for Ghana. Let's come together. Let's celebrate it so we can promote mm. the economic livelihood of our people. Thank you very much, Elvis. Elvis Ativo is the festival coordinator of the Agotime Kente Festival, which is happening tomorrow. The Grand Deba is tomorrow, and he's saying we shouldn't miss it. We should come there and see all the Kente being displayed there and their significance as well. Stay